Hey everybody, welcome back to Recordology. Okay, today, this is amazing guys. I never thought this day would come on multiple levels. So here it is, this is the Crosley Cruiser, um, the subject of myth, of legend, of so much disdain. And um, you know, I'm very surprised of how I feel about this record player actually. Um, you know, this is, you know, a subject that is near and dear to the anger and hearts of some people out there. Um, it's something that comes up quite a bit, but actually until this day, I had never seen one in person. I think I'd seen them in stores, but I had never actually played with one. And I have to tell you, it is the worst record player I have ever seen in my life. It is awful. It's absolutely terrible. Um, yeah, I don't know what to say. It's, it is the most awful record player ever. Um, so I'm gonna tell you why. I'm gonna show you uh, specifically. And um, at the end of this show, um, I guarantee you, we're gonna be running this bad boy over with a car. Um, and it really is a bad boy. So uh, you're not gonna wanna miss this, guys. It's gonna be an awesome show. Welcome to Recordology. Okay, before we do anything else, let's go ahead and unpack this. Reason number one why the Crosley Cruiser is awful. Crosley Cruisers are cheap, mass-produced Chinese garbage. As a matter of fact, all suitcase players are made by Crosley. As it turns out, Crosley Cruisers are designed and engineered in the United States by Crosley. The Cruiser Deluxe is made by a third party, such as Shenzhen Sunwind Technology Company, which is hired by Crosley's parent company, Modern Marketing Concepts, to meet all of Crosley's design standards and specifications. This is very similar to Apple, which designs and engineers their iPhone in the United States and manufactures them in China. Also, all suitcase players are not the same. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison of a third-party suitcase player and a Crosley Cruiser Deluxe. As you can see, the third-party unit is not even the same size as the Crosley Cruiser. So we can put this myth to sleep, and Crosley certainly doesn't make any other suitcase player. Reason number two that this is an awful record player. Well, I read a lot of reviews that also say the Crosley Cruisers are cheap. The build quality is awful. So before you can comment on this, you must get your hands on one. I didn't get my hands on one until today. And before this, I had no idea if the rumors were true. I suspected they probably weren't. And big surprise, I was right. These are not cheap. Compared to the other suitcase players that I've played with, I can tell you that the build quality on this is actually fantastic. It's got very solid hardware. The finishings, the metal pieces, the hinges, the handle, all very solid. The record player components are perfectly fine. They are built to their design specification. They perform exactly the way they were intended to. Reason number three that the Crosley Cruiser Deluxe is an awful record player. Well, it's going to damage your vinyl, right? It's going to carve up your records. It's going to destroy your investment. At least that's what everybody says. Facts are often inconvenient things because this is not true. Entry-level players, such as this one, do track heavier. That means that the needle is pushing down harder on the record than some other equipment. However, the misunderstanding and the mistruth here that this will damage your vinyl and that it's a unique thing to Crosley Cruisers. First, let's set the record straight here. Distortion versus tracking force. Now, the more tracking force that a record player places on the record surface, in other words, how hard the needle is pushing down 
will actually increase the sound quality and minimize distortion. So a higher tracking record player will actually have less distortion than a high-end one that you can set to a very light tracking force. It's a delicate balance. Now, with the tracking force being heavier, there is gonna be more wear. But here's where the myth comes in. The myth is that you're damaging your records. Now playing a record, any record on any record player, is an act of friction. You are physically dragging a needle through a groove. On physical media of any sort that's analog, you are going to wear down the media. It happens on tapes, it happens on all records, and that's just the way it is. Now, will this damage your records? No. These units may track a little bit heavier than some other units, but they will not damage them. You would have to listen to your record hundreds and hundreds of times, over and over and over, for a long period of time before you would notice any sort of wear. It's so minuscule. It's so tiny. This record player will track at about 5 grams. Now, some people may gasp and say, oh my gosh, that's terrible, that's an awful thing. It's actually not that big of a deal. Um, if you're looking at 60s and 70s and 80s era equipment that a lot of the people that have been in this community for a long time profess that is the best equipment in the world, the old stuff. Well, guess what? Here's an inconvenient truth for you guys. Those track between three, five, and sometimes 10 grams. So you're talking about vintage equipment tracking at 10 grams, yet this only tracks at five. So what record player is really damaging your vinyl? Going back to what I was saying about playing a record is an act of friction, here are some facts for you. At only 0.1 grams, the needle is going to start pulling away and destroying some of the coatings on the record surface. At 1.6 grams, the plastics themselves will show signs of wear. And at 2 grams, the sidewalls are being impacted by the wear. So as you can see, the minute you drop your needle on a record, you are impacting it. Finally on this topic, a conical stylus like this unit uses is a rounded tip stylus it is going to be a lot gentler on your records and a lot of higher end stylus styli which are elliptical and although they can elicit more detail from the record groove they also cause more damage and that's one of the reasons why higher end units have to track at such lighter tracking forces like 1.5 to 2.5 grams is because a sharper more pointed elliptical stylus will impact the record playing surface if it's played at a heavier tracking force. Again, people don't talk about this, they generalize. A conical rounded stylus is gonna have much less impact on that record groove, and you guys, you just don't need to worry about that. All right, reason number four that the Crosley Cruiser is supposedly an awful record player. Well, the sound, I hear all these people saying the sound is terrible. <laughs> Guess what, guys? Yes, this is an entry-level piece of equipment. These speakers aren't going to blow your mind. They're going to sound like what they look like, which is entry-level, smallish speakers. They're not terrible. But if you take a line output and hook this up to a bigger stereo, you're going to elicit a much greater, fuller sound. So to test this out, put on your headphones right now. It's a headphone alert, guys. Put on your headphones right now, and I'm going to play for you a direct feed line output of this Crosley Cruiser, and you tell me that the sound is bad. So here we go. <laughs> guys and another one bites the dust it sounds good there's nothing wrong with that sound and again that's from a rounded conical ceramic cartridge tracking at five grams and not damaging your vinyl and finally number five reason why people say this is an awful record player it's bad for the hobby it's a terrible thing because they're available everywhere 
all these newcomers. We don't want people coming into this hobby. We want our group of guys and gals that have been doing this forever. Let's talk about this one just in terms of logic. Had it not been for the Crosley Cruiser, the predecessor to this model, the Crosley Cruiser Deluxe, which came out in about 2016, by the way, but the original Cruiser is part of what started the whole vinyl revolution, the whole resurgence in vinyl, the fact that sales numbers are now being registered and compiled into the millions of vinyl records sold. And that doesn't even take into consideration, you know, used old vinyl that, you know, we so often buy. But this whole vinyl resurgence is thanks to this. This unit right here is the reason why you can go to Target, you can go to Walmart, you can buy brand new vinyl, some of it even audio grade vinyl, right there in your local neighborhood store, probably less than you know a mile from where you are right now. If it wasn't for this unit, you would not have that luxury. These units are available everywhere. Why are they available? Because they're fun. Yes, they do come in a variety of colors. You can get a Snoopy one. You can get a Star Wars one. You can get a Guardians of the Galaxy one. You can get multiple different colors. And that's a cool thing. You know, kids like that. It's something that is new to them. They haven't had tactile, physical media that they have to go search for a record in order to own, and that's a new idea too, own a piece of music that's a completely new concept and one that we should really embrace for these guys and it simply meets the needs of people because guess what kids that have grown up with only a mobile phone a smartphone and haven't had you know a stereo they don't have a preamp they don't have an amplifier they don't have an eq they don't have you know even sometimes even a stereo system or speakers other than their phone and maybe a little bluetooth speaker well guess what with this unit they are able to now have all of that in one without having to spend upwards of a thousand dollars on individual components so for 45 dollars um, and even less in some cases by the way, there's a link in the description below. Uh, you can go out there and have a complete vinyl setup with speakers, with everything you need, ready to go right off the shelf, and for a much smaller investment. And the return on investment, the quality, is more than reasonable, you guys. And if you want a higher-end experience, just plug it into a big stereo system or plug it into something else, and you will get an even greater and richer uh, vinyl listening experience. Some people live in apartments. They don't have room for all this stuff. They don't have money for all that stuff. And we really need to not discourage people that are getting into this, that are learning about this. We need to embrace them. This is an excellent way to welcome people to this hobby. You know, maybe it's a passing thing for them. Maybe they'll listen to a few records and move on to something else. But maybe, just maybe, they will become people such as us that are really into it and learn about other equipment and make further investments and whatnot, which goes back to the fact that this was a great way for them to get into this hobby. And I think that it's a responsibility that each of us needs to embrace and realize that this has a place in this community and in this hobby. Okay, now you know. So um, that's, you know, I told you I'd run it over with a car, but you know what, this would be clickbait to just run it over with this car. Um, and I'm not about that, I'm not about the clickbait. So we are going to run over a record player with a car, but it turns out, I actually like this record player. You know, as we talk through all of the, uh, you know, the flaws and the, you know, problems that people have with it, um, most of it turns out not to be true or not really an issue. So I think I'm gonna keep this. Um, I actually like it a lot. It's, uh, it's great, it's excellent. Um, but I don't want to let you down. We are going to be running over a record player with a car. So check this out. Okay, guys, I don't want to let my audience down. So we're going to run over this record player. Now, it's not a Crosley Cruiser, but it is a record player that hasn't worked for me. And I thought about selling it for 10 bucks, but honestly, I feel guilty even doing that. So I'm like, well, maybe I can give it away, but it just doesn't work. So I thought we'd have a lot more fun by running it over. So without further ado, here we go. Give it a little gas.
Okay guys, and there we go. We have destroyed this record player, you guys. It is beyond, well there goes the GoPro too, great. Uh, we've destroyed this thing. I've got a mess to pick up, um, but there you go. I definitely want to deliver on the promise there. We destroyed a record player. Um, this one wasn't really any good, so no harm done, but it still was kind of painful and kind of fun in a uh, very evil kind of way. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, as always, guys, I hope you enjoyed the show. This is a lot of fun to do. I've really been looking forward to this all week. It's been really hard to focus at work because my mind has been on this project. Anyway, um, subscribe if you haven't done so already. But in the meantime, happy record hunting. We'll see you next time. I'm not very good at this. Neither am I. Okay, what can we lose? Thank you for watching Recordology. Stay tuned for a new show every Sunday and Wednesday. Don't forget to hit subscribe and check us out on Instagram and Twitter.